Small business owners among the looted, trying to put their livelihoods back together. CBS News' Tara Molina found a popular florist in Streeterville where looters didn't steal, they simply destroyed. Tara, this uh, business just opened a few months ago. Brad, they just got their feet off the ground here in April. And while opening up a business during a pandemic is one thing, moving forward after the destruction they saw last night, that's another. Blue and white floral arrangements made it to Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Governor J.B. Pritzker's Blue Cross Blue Shield press conference. So it was just being in like two different worlds. Hours earlier, they were walking through broken glass and wreckage to get those bouquets together. It was difficult to see the shop like this. Shattered refrigerators, broken yes, computers, registers. their new small business in Streeterville totally ransacked. All of us are trying to get back to normal and it's it's just so difficult. They did deal with some theft smashed. here. Just garbage and, and trash everywhere. But for the most part, City Sense Flowers was destroyed for the sake of destruction. This Almost eerily was. so. You can see the flowers behind the broken refrigerators still arranged in place. They seem like the purpose was just to damage. Their purpose since it, taking you know, over here in April it on supporting their community, even when it meant closing down during the protests here in May after the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police. We handed out daisies and white roses to protesters to show support for the protesters. But we do not believe that the violence that occurred this morning had anything to do with any sort of social justice theme. Now, as they process and finish picking up the pieces, things that can be replaced, we don't want people to move away from the city. Their focus is on a feeling throughout the city right now that's not as easily replaceable. And I think it's just important for everyone to feel safe in our community. It's They're hoping to open back up here in Streeterville very soon. And tonight, what this business wants, like so many others, big and small here in Chicago, one thing, protection from the city. Reporting live in Streeterville, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News.